Hello everybody, this is Dr. Cole. It's now Saturday afternoon, May 14th. Most of you will be seeing this message on Monday the 16th, which is the first day of the summer term. And this is your video message for week one of Humanities 2333 for the first seven week summer term. Everybody, on the syllabus for week one, are the class notes for lectures one and two, which you can find in the modules area of the course website. So I hope you'll be taking a look at that. We have a discussion and also an extra credit quiz on the syllabus for you for this week. Um, the subject matter we're dealing with is sort of complicated and difficult to define. Uh, it's a discipline that traditionally is considered to have several subfields or subdivisions. And we'll try to give you an overview of the discipline of philosophy in the class notes for lecture one, what is philosophy? And to describe or introduce to the subject matter, I don't know if I can do better than to just direct you to the class notes for lecture one. Um, in lecture two, we introduce the subject of logic which is a subfield of philosophy at a big research institution with a philosophy department with a couple of dozen faculty or more. You could take a logic course for the entire term on nothing but logic. But what I would like to do is just introduce you to the subject matter. Uh, there'll be some things mentioned that you might have to memorize in a proper logic course, but I won't ask you to memorize them. Um, you'll get an idea of what it's like to work a word problem in logic, which is sort of similar to a word problem in algebra. What you will need to master is, especially for the sake of taking the extra credit quiz, uh, you need to be able to identify several informal fallacies. Now, informal logical fallacies are things that occur in the written, printed, or spoken word. We come across them all the time in the media, in advertising, in politics. There's all sorts of fields where informal logical fallacies may be committed. And it's helpful to us to know what the major ones are and how to identify them so we know them when we see them. On your quiz, we'll give you five statements that are examples of informal logical fallacies and ask you to identify the fallacy of which that statement is an example. Okay, you'll get three points for each one you get correct. Five items, you can earn up to 15 extra credit points by taking the quiz. Now you'll find this discussed at the end of the class notes for lecture two. Okay. Also, uh, there are a few pages about it in the textbook. We're gonna direct you to a website You'll be getting a message with a link to a website from Texas State University that discusses this stuff. And also there's an exercise up on the website. Can you spot the informal fallacies? Uh, the 10 or 12 items, I believe. And the answers, the correct answers, are at the end of the class notes for lecture two. So that's what we have on the syllabus for the first week. We have an extra credit quiz on informal fallacies, and that's coming up on the 20th, I believe, which will be Friday. And then the discussion will run from Thursday to Saturday, I believe, the 19th to the, through the 21st. You're asked to introduce yourself to your classmates, tell your life story in 25 words or less, say whatever you want to, or however much or how little, and then mention whatever it is you happen to find in the class notes for lecture one that's of the most interest to you. Then respond once to your classmates for up to 50 points credit. There will be three of these over the course of the term, and we'll count the best two out of three for a grade of up to 100 points. Everybody, once again, we've got to cram this into seven weeks. OPSU is offering two seven-week summer terms, and we've got to get 2333 into the first seven weeks. So we're going to be moving through some material pretty quickly. You have a discussion and an extra credit quiz on the syllabus for this week. You're going to have a written assignment due on the first of the month.
the 1st of June, and there will be another one of those written assignments due toward the end of June. The midterm exam will come a week after the first written assignment, on or about June 8th. And the final exam will come, of course, toward the end of the term, on or about the 1st of July. We finish up on July 3rd. So we've got quite a bit to do in a relatively short period of time. So I encourage you to go ahead and dive in and start looking at the material on the syllabus for week one, which is the class notes for lectures one and two. Everybody, let me say this. The material for the midterm, lectures one through eight, is a little more technical than what you find in the second half of the course, the material for the final exam, lectures nine through 16. For many students, the most difficult thing they do during the term, and maybe the lowest score they make will be on the midterm exam. The final exam may be a little less difficult, not quite, no tech, not quite so technical. Uh, the way I teach this course, it's called in the catalog Philosophy of Life. I try to include a good bit of material from, that might come from a course you might call Intro to Philosophy, Philosophy 101. Uh, in the second half of the course, if you're not especially enthralled by what happens in the first half, in the second half of the course we take up such topics as what it means to be an authentic individual, what considerations ought to go into making important life decisions, that it could include whom to marry, what your school major ought to be, what your employment or career or professional plans ought to be, things like that. And then finally toward the end of the course, uh, mortality and the philosophy of death and dying. Okay, so I hope some of that at least will be of interest to you. Okay, if the first half of the course doesn't grab you, uh, be sure to stick around for the second half. But beyond that, to describe the subject matter, I, I, there's not much more than I can do to direct, than to direct you to class notes for lecture one, what is philosophy? And that will give you the different divisions, subgroups, subfields, within the discipline of philosophy and give you some idea of the questions, issues, and problems that this discipline tries to address. Before we go today, everybody, uh, let me address the matter of the textbook. The textbook on the syllabus is the third shorter edition of the Miller and Jensen textbook, Questions That Matter. Uh, it's in, it may be in somewhat short supply. If you can't get the third shorter edition, get either the second shorter edition or the sixth edition. Hopefully everybody will be able to find at least one of those. If you get either the second shorter edition or the sixth edition, in other words, one that uh, other than the edition listed on the syllabus, contact me and I'll try to get you straightened out on what the differences are. There aren't really very many major differences, so it shouldn't really be an issue. All right then, so what we have for the first week of the course is Class notes for lectures one and two. Lecture one, what is philosophy that will introduce you to the subject matter? And then lecture two on logic. We have an extra credit quiz on informal fallacies. Okay. I believe that's scheduled for the 20th. Okay. Things, uh, uh, for, to, to take a couple for ex of four examples. Okay. If you were on trial for spousal abuse and the prosecutor said to you, when did you stop beating your spouse? That's an example of an informal logical fallacy. You'll find out exactly what that's called. You may have heard of such fallacies as slippery slope or straw man, which some people want you to call straw person these days, and other informal fallacies you may have heard of. Okay, that's, that's discussed in our class notes, in the textbook, in a link to a website we're going to send you, and in the little exercise, can you spot the informal fallacy? So you'll be asked to identify five informal fallacies in a multiple choice quiz, five items, three extra points each, three extra credit points for each one you get correct for up to 15 extra credit points on the 20th. And then we mentioned our discussion we're going to hold the 19th through the 21st. Introduce yourself and tell what you find most compelling about the class notes for lecture one. Respond to at least one of your classmates between Thursday and Saturday, the 19th through the 21st, and that will be discussion one. And that is it then, everybody, for the first week of the term. We'll be sending out one of these messages every week, and so we plan on talking to you once again about a week from now at this time. 
Take it easy, study hard.